Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic is how to pass parameters and apex method from lightning pipe component. Let's see practically. Right now I have written an apex class and a method get some result which is annotated with aura enabled which is ready to be invoked from lightning web component and if you observe here i have two parameters or two arguments those are on first number and second number and this method returning the sum of these two numbers now i would like to pass two parameters or i would like to pass values for these two parameters from lightning web component so now i'm going to create a lightning web component which can pass the which can pass the values and get the result from this method so let's create a lightning web component calculate two numbers and so let's see html right everything is good For now initially i'm saving this everything to yes So now I'm going to define two or three input fields. Okay. So let me take chord So this is the quad. And title is calculator example. Now I have a button that is submit so for body what I am going to do I am going to have three input fields okay in footer I am going to display result let's see so before that Let's write logic for the same from JavaScript. So as usual, I'm importing track decorator and to execute or to invoke our Apex method, you have to import Apex method, get result, get some result from Salesforce, what is our Apex class name? Calculator Apex class dot what is the method name? Get some result. Good. And then I'm declaring Three variables one is f number it's first number another one is s number track result or you can say sum if you want to hold errors also you can have this and I'm defining a method I'm handle click here I'm going to call this sum result. What I have to do? I have to pass parameters. What are the parameters I have? 
first number what is the second one second number okay and here this dot f number and this dot s number then it returns promise that it's a result here this dot sum equal result catch errors this dot errors equals error so with this what i written i just written a method handle click which has invocation of get some result and passing parameters in json format and getting the promise assigning it to some if there is errors i am assi i am assigning those errors to errors property now for every change on input field i want to hold i have to hold values also so that is event event or comment here if event dot target dot name equals this dot f number equals event dot target dot value else if cd so basically i am assuming i have this name for the input i am going to define that anyway target target and here it should be yes save into sales person instance now saved now let's start our input fields let's go to input yes and um, this is the one input so name is so this is what i am using for identifying the targets and type equals number value equals as usual f number enter first number and what it has to call on change what is the method name handle change okay along with that s number i'm giving name for this i'm using the same in the target also in if conditions and the second number same now i have two input values and a button on click 
what is the method name for on clock and the click I'm using done and here in footer I want to display sum which is written from method our apex method done okay now successfully saved now to expose the same thing into lightning experience you have to make is exposed true and define targets my intention for this to create a tab for this so that means you have to set up a target like lightning underscore tab then only you can create a tab for this particular component now let's go to our arc try to create a lightning component tab So what is the calculate two numbers? Now let's go to app menu, not app menu, tab menu. So here I am trying to add our calculator. Done. So now let's go to calculate two numbers. It looks like this. So let's do this. So nothing is happening. Let's see. sum is here and I am using type equal to number same It's already there. Sorry. So handle click is there and actions. So here lightning tab is there. Handle click result. Yes. And FST number. This is spelling mistakes. That's the thing. Because here number, but here number. It doesn't make sense. So now it will work. Let's try to refresh. See, 24. 46 you were able to see right I'll make it bold for you So refresh
33. See, this is how it works. This is how you can pass the parameters to Apex method from Lightning Web Component. Okay, these are all the things you can go through that and you can see the source code in my blog salesforcewalker.blogspot.com all the best please subscribe to salesforce tech work